Every team's fan base has that one game they circle in a city they've never been to before. Nashville, one of the top choices this year, but not if you're a Raider. This trip is all business because, as it turns out, the business by all means could be over with a loss on Sunday. Chris Matthews joins us from Music City to break it down. There are seven winless teams remaining in the National Football League. Two of them play right here at Nissan Stadium. Now, the team that drops to 0-3 on their season has about a 3% chance of reaching the postseason. We're looking forward to the opportunity to go and, and spend some quality time together and just nail down the game plan and get ourselves ready to go. We know this is going to be a tough game. One of these teams will be seeing a different tune after Sunday because somebody's O has to go. So one of them will drop to 0-3, and, and that's pretty much a death knell to the loser. Yeah, the sky's not falling. Um, we're still focused. You know, it's early on the week two, early in the season. It's a long season. So, you know, we just continue to work and working to improve every day. Another person looking to improve is Raiders quarterback Derek Carr. In fact, he knows very well Titans offensive coordinator Todd Downing. They once worked together in Oakland. Yeah, Derek and I have a, a great relationship. He's, he's a wonderful human being, as I know you guys have seen, um, you know, throughout the years. Um, and Derek is one of those guys that, you know, is a perfectionist, a pleaser. He wants to try to improve, you know, at every turn. Well, you got to figure Devontae Adams and Derek Carr will hook up more than twice in this game. As for the Titans, what is going on with their offense and defense for that matter? It's going to be a big, important game here at Nissan Stadium. Reporting in Nashville with the Raiders, Chris Matthews, 8 Sports Now.